Starting from the library homepage, you can go up to Research and then Databases. And for current events, uh, you can find a lot of contemporary news articles, magazine articles, and general OneFile. But we do have access to a database called Opposing Viewpoints in Context, which is directed exactly towards controversial issues. And although my screen didn't show it the first time that you click on it, you will get a password page. And the password for us is Empire Link. And it's all one word. So I'm typing it into the search bar just so that you can see it. But you would enter that on the page prior to this. And once you've logged in, once uh, for a certain number of days, you will log in automatically. Um, so what's great about this database is that it takes all kinds of issues and gives you both sides of it and there's specifically written pieces that explain the whole issue, and there are good summaries. But then there's also many, many, many links to magazine and newspaper articles um, that will help you argue both sides. So after, you can see some of the featured issues that they put up on the home page. If you click Browse All Topics, you will see how many different topics they have. Quite a lot. Um, and, oh my goodness, there's quite a lot. So let's see if I tried one of these updated ones. You click on that um, to get an overview of the whole topic I would suggest the very first one that they put up at the top if you click on read more so this is um, an article that was written specifically to give you a complete overview and sometimes they have a little box that gives you bullet points of the pros and cons, which is very helpful. Um, and you can see there's hyperlinks within here to help you um, find out more about those other topics. Um, at the bottom of every source of information in here is the MLA 8th edition citation. And I'm going to go ahead and copy that right now because we'll be using that for your reference list or works cited and once you find something that you like you can print it or send it to Google Drive um, you can even, if um, English is not your native language, translate the article. There's a whole bunch of choices. However, I've heard that it's not fantastic translations, um, but it still might be helpful. Um, another helpful thing is that you could listen to it if you would like, if, if that makes it a little easier for you. Um, you can also listen to the article. And going if you if you already know exactly what your topic is and you don't want to browse, you certainly can just search and 
you will get all kinds of choices. So suggested topics means this is one of their, where they've sort of put everything. The, um, it will have, you know, the overview summary that we started with in the hunting one. Same idea here. However, um, as you can see, there's also viewpoint articles, um, 508 of them, and reference articles, biographies, statistics. That can be helpful. Try and find the most up-to-date ones there. Also, primary sources. Images, videos, also radio shows um, or podcasts. So um, many, many, many choices. And the great thing about this is not only are the citations give already formatted for you, but you know that these are all sources that you can trust. Um, they even, if you look, if you go to websites, so these are websites that they have said are good and reliable for you to use, which can be very helpful um, because there's a lot of, especially on controversial issues, you have to be careful with websites because there are lots of people who are biased and they want to convince people of their point of view and they may make their websites look authoritative and uh, but you you do have to look out for that and so it's nice to have these websites that are approved already selected for you as a place to start um, so it gives you a little bit of information about the website and then the link And um, I think that that is probably the basics of what you would need to know to use opposing viewpoints in context. Good luck.